Hi, welcome to Pausing for Prayer. It's Pastor Lori here from the Ferriton and Newport United Methodist Churches. And thanks for taking a minute to pause for prayer and have devotion with me. If you have any prayer requests, put them in the comments. We'll add you to the list and we'll pray for you tomorrow morning during church. If you don't have a church home, uh, you are welcome at Ferriton UMC at 9 a.m. You get the second showing <laughs> at Newport at 11 a.m. So I hope you come out and join us. We're going to start with our devotion. And it is bigger than our problems. Job 40, 15. Look up, look at behemoth, which I made along with you. What do you imagine dinosaurs look like when they were alive? Did they have big teeth? Were they really scaly, long tails? Artist Karen Carr recreates these exact creatures in large murals. One of her panoramas is over 20 feet tall and 60 feet long. Because of its size, it's required a crew of experts to install it in section where it resides in the Sam Noble Oklahoma Museum of Natural History. That's a mouthful. <laughs> It'd be hard to stand in front of this mural without feeling dwarfed by the dinosaur. I get a similar sensation when I read God's description of the powerful, powerful animal called Behemoth. In Job 40, this big guy munched grass like an ox, had a tail the size of a tree trunk. His bones were like iron pipes. He lumbered through the hills grazing, stopping occasionally to relax at the local swamp. When floodwaters surged, Behemoth never raised an eyebrow. No one could tame this incredible creature except its maker, God, if he needed to be told. God reminded Job of this truth during a time when Job had problems and cast shadow over his life. Grief, the emolument, and frustration filled his field of vision. Filled his field of vision. That's an interesting way to put it. Anyhow, began to question God. But God's response helped Job to see the real size of things. God was bigger than all his issues and power enough to handle problems that Job couldn't resolve on his own. In the end, Job concluded, I know you can do all things. So which is bigger, your worst problem or the God who made everything? That's a good reminder, you know. Sometimes we think what we're going through is just awful, and it is awful, but not bigger than God. Or greater than God. So in the way of prayer requests, we have ongoing concerns. Uh, those with cancer, Nick, Sherry Fisher Riley, Janice, Jennifer, JC, Charlie Steinauer, and let's see, Mike, Morel, Wolf, and Connie. Fortunately, we added to that list. I didn't put a comma. <laughs> Let me put a comma in there so I'll know next time to read it correctly. Unspoken requests. Those from the Ferret Church that it aren't on the, any other list, Mr. J, Mrs. Blue, Miss Mary, Mrs. Lanning, Reds, Bev, Jenny, Hope Edwards, and Bill Hall. Those from the Newport Church, Dominic Caldwell, Pastor Frazier, Louise, who has surgery this week, or she's supposed to, Ed, Dennis, Ruth, Jimmy Knipe, Chase, Nancy, Jillian Taylor, Cheryl Ripper, and Lawrence Morgan. I'm gonna pray for both churches. Also, Josh Wolf, who's serving in the Navy. Dina has a bulging disc in her back. Craig and Jen for encouragement and peace. Roberta, healing for family. Rob Hill for healing. Mary Kay's daughter for a job, J-O-B. <laughs> Gail had a knee replacement. I'm going to try to go see her next week. Juanita, comfort. She has anxiety. Morel Wolf, who had surgery. Elsie Donahue had a pacemaker put in. Betty and her family, they're mourning. Mr. and, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Holiday for comfort. Ryan Jenkins has shoulder surgery. Lisa has hip pain. Amanda has an infection. And the family of Linda Richards. I think I'm saying that right. She was a teacher at the Hopewell School that passed this week. And the Butcher family. Uh, they had a loved one pass, but they just had the service uh, this week. So let's pray. 
Lord, we want to thank you that we can pray to you. We always have this opportunity to just talk free with you. So we thank you that people entrusted their concerns with me and with uh, our church families. We want to lift up those with cancer, especially Nick, Sherry Fisher-Riley, Janice, Jennifer J.C., Charlie Steiner, Mike, Morell, and Connie. Lord, these are all different stages of treatment, so I ask for healing for them, for strength for the journey, and for healing for their souls as well, as this uh, cancer wears on your uh, your spirit. So I pray for that as well. I pray for unspoken requests for those people that uh, have concerns on their hearts and minds that don't feel comfortable sharing with everyone. I lift those up to you. And any ones that I forgot to mention or get to forget to mention, I, I lift those up to you as well because you know people's hearts and what they've said to me. So I also lift up people from both churches, Mr. J, Mrs. Blue, Miss Mary, Mrs. Lanning, Reds, Bev, Jenny, Hope, Bill, also Dominic, Pastor Frazier, Louise, Ed, Dennis, Jimmy, Chase, Nancy, Jillian, Cheryl, and Lawrence. These are dear people to our, our church families, and I, so I lift them up to you. And I ask for healing where there needs to be healing, your comfort where there needs to be comfort. For both churches, I lift them up to you, and I ask for your wisdom and your presence as we worship tomorrow. For Josh, I pray for him to be safe. I lift up Dina and I ask for healing for her back. For Craig, Jen, and also for Juanita, I ask for encouragement and your peace. For Rob Hill, I ask for healing. Roberta, Lord, I ask for healing for her family. For Mary Kay's daughter, Lord, provide a job for her that fits her degree and skills. Uh, for Elsie, I ask for you continue to heal her after the surgery. Be with Betty and all those that mourn this day, but especially her. She's still mourning the loss of her husband. For the holidays, Mr. and Mrs. Holiday, I ask for your comfort. For Ryan Jenkins, who's having surgery or had shoulder surgery, I ask for your healing. Lisa is having hip pains. So I pray that's managed well and they find a source. For Amanda who has this infection, I pray the um, medicine would work. For the family of Linda Richards, I pray for her and any of the students she had. I pray for her family, uh, that you would comfort them. The same goes for the Butcher family and all that knew Lynn, uh, that you would comfort them as they remember her. And I thank you for our churches. Uh, I pray for our worship tomorrow, that you would just bless us, give us a spirit-filled day. And be with all the fathers uh, that are missing children or those people that are missing their fathers this weekend, I ask for your comfort. In your name we pray. Amen. If you're a dad or your dad like to someone, and I want to thank you for being a great dad and hope you have a great day tomorrow. Hope to see you soon. If not in church, I'll see you on here. I love you guys. Bye.